So what's the Honda Moto Compacto? That's coming right up. Welcome to Run Playback. This week we're taking a spin with the Honda Moto Compacto electric scooter, a foldable ride that's as intriguing as it is compact. Let's dive into its features, sort through the pros and cons, and see if it's the urban mobility solution you've been looking for. So let's get to it. Honda Moto Compacto takes inspiration from the original 1980s Moto Compo with its ultra-compact suitcase-style design. The aluminum frame, adorned with large white panels, not only screams retro, but also serves as a blank canvas for riders to personalize with stickers and decals. Its foldable nature makes it a standout for those on the go, but be warned, mastering the fold and unfold process might take a minute. Equipped with a 250-watt rated, 490-watt peak front hub motor, the Moto Compacto offers two riding modes, a leisurely 10 miles per hour on mode 1 and a snappier 15 miles per hour on mode 2. It's not breaking any speed records, but for city riding and bike lanes, it's right on the mark. A 36 volt, 6.8 amp hour, non-removable battery sits at the heart of this scooter with a full charge time of 3.5 hours. So depending on how you ride, you're looking at up to 12 miles of range, which is decent for last mile trips, like from the office to a car or public transportation. The brown leather saddle seat and hand grips add a touch of class and comfort. However, the single rear drum brake and modest motor might leave performance enthusiasts wanting more. All right, it's finally here, the 2024 Honda Moto Compacto electric scooter. So really excited about this thing. I actually had to pick it up from the Honda dealership. As you can see, it comes in this, uh, just a regular box. You would never know that this is an electric scooter. So it's not lightweight, it's about 42 pounds. So it's pretty substantial. But the fact that they could fit an electric scooter inside of this tiny box is pretty interesting. So let's open it up, see what's inside. Nice big Honda logo on top. I mean, it looks like a picnic table. That's how small it is. How is something like this so popular? I think it's obviously the Honda brand name. This seems pretty straightforward. I know this is in its folded state and you get a box, Honda charger, instruction manual. So the four corners have this protective foam. I guess this is it. So the button that says push to release. There we go. Here's the saddle. Latch right here. Okay, goes like this. I think that's, I think that's right. There. Okay, okay. Okay, this is what the Moto Compacto looks like unfolded. This is what I look like sitting on it. Can't imagine anyone bigger than me sitting on this thing. So I got my measuring tape and let's check out the dimensions. So length looks to be about 36 inches from the front all the way to the rear wheel over here. Height from the ground up to the top of the display is about 34 and a quarter inches. And then width from, looks like the handlebars, is about 18 inches. Start with the handlebars. So you have these kind of leather grips or faux leather. You have a rear drum brake and the size of the wheels are about hmm, eight inches. You have a right hand thumb throttle and you have a center mounted display. They do have an app where you can change more settings. So here's the Honda branded strap for carrying when it's folded. In the front here is the headlight. So it looks like it's in blinking mode. I don't know if it stays solid. And then this is the charging cord. And we also have a backlight with brake functionality. So the Moto Compacto is a front wheel drive motor and it's 250 watt rated, 490 watt peak. So on mode one, top speed is about 10 miles per hour. On mode two, it's about 15 miles per hour. And the total range for something like this is only about 12 miles. Inside the battery is 36 volts and 6.8 amp hours, so tiny. So I also read that the charge time is about 3.5 hours, which is okay. So you want to make sure you have some access to an electrical outlet. Here's the foot pedals and the kickstand. And like I said, the total weight of this thing is about 42 pounds. So we got some practice in, and now it's a lot easier to fold and unfold the Honda Moto Compacto. So to unfold it, first you gotta bring the handlebars up. There's a switch right here in the back. So you press that down, and you lift this up. You open this latch up here, pull the bars until it clicks. Okay, clicked in, close it. And then you open this up here, and then rotate the bars left. And then you snap in the latch over there. And then the last latch 
is here on the bottom. When you lift it up and lock it in. So here's a saddle. Unfold it like that. Secure it with the latch. Push it down. And then make sure it's facing forward. The smaller side is facing front. And you just drop it in here. And it automatically locks in. And then to get the back wheel out. So with the latch, when you open it up, it doesn't go all the way out here. You have to keep it kind of closer to the body. And then you rotate it up like that. And then you just pull the wheel out. So you hear a click. There you go. And you rotate this back down like that until it locks, push it in. And now the wheel is locked. You just want to double check by trying to push it in and it's in there. If it's not locked in, then the display will show that it's locked and you can't actually engage the motor. And finally, you unfold the pegs. And what you got to do is you reach up over here so you could push it up with your fingers. If you try to do it back here, you won't get enough leverage. So you have to be really close, push it up and rotate out until it locks in. And then the same on the other side, push it up until it locks in. Okay, so that's how you unfold it. All right, first ride with the Honda Moto Compacto. <laughs> Again, this is what I look like sitting on it, super small. I put my phone with the speedometer app so I can actually see how fast I'm going. I do have it set on mode two, and it looks like we have about 75% battery, so that should be enough for this little leisurely ride up and down the block. Let's see, uh, let's see how this goes, okay. Kickstand needs to go up, and away we go. <laughs> All right, I'm going at a leisurely eight miles per hour, nine, uphill. Now, my inclination is to squeeze my legs together just so I have a little bit more control. Um, you have a very, very tight turning radius, these tiny wheels. It's like riding a scooter. It's like riding a bird scooter, but you're sitting down. So doing these little circles right here, not an issue. I don't feel like I'm gonna scrape the uh, foot pegs or anything, but uh, it's pretty comfortable from my size. I don't know if you're bigger than me, if it'll be as comfortable, but kind of is what it is. Let's try to do a full speed test. I'll go all the way up here. 11, 13, 14, 15 miles per hour, 16, about 60. I feel the motor cutting off at 16 miles per hour. Now I do feel it kind of struggling going uphill, 12 miles per hour going uphill. This is a lot of fun. I mean, you know, like it feels, it feels so tiny. Test the drum brakes. <laughs> so you have a decent amount of stopping power. I would not rely on this thing to instantly stop you, especially if you weigh more than me. The initial unboxing and the unfolding was a little bit, it wasn't as intuitive as I thought it would be. There are certain pressure points to like release the foot pegs um, and to unlock the lever for the rear wheel. And then just like little latches and sort of like things that you've never really seen before on a scooter or an e-bike so you know that that took a little bit of time i'm sure as you ride this more often it'll get easier to fold and unfold but that initial unfolding was just a little bit tricky again i could see this thing as a last mile vehicle so let's say you're in a city and you bring this thing in your car and you park your car in a parking garage but maybe your office is like a couple blocks away it's uptown downtown you could easily just hop on this thing, ride the bike lanes, get to where you're going, fold it back up, bring it into the office, charge it, and it shouldn't be an issue. It did remind me of just like a bird scooter or any kind of ride sharing scooter, um, except you're sitting down. And they do have things like that. They do have scooters, you know, with these like eight inch wheels where you can sit. So it's like the platform and then just a stem with a saddle and those are okay they look kind of weird but the fact that 
the body is encased in this like picnic table looking thing is what makes it interesting, I think. Um, if you're someone who likes to customize, right, you have this whole area, and I've seen some pictures where people put like whole graphics over here. So if you have a business or whatever, you could advertise right here. You could probably put some stuff in this slot, although, you know, it would probably rattle around. But I think this is meant for putting like a bag or something like that. You know, you wouldn't want to have just like loose items flying around or anything. I mean, it's not going to fit everyone. I think if you're like over 200 pounds, you're not going to have a good experience on this. There's no suspension. So if you're on a street that's not smooth like this, you're going to feel every bump, just like a regular scooter. Except when you're on a scooter and you're standing, it, it gets a little squirrely. It gets unsafe. It feels kind of weird. The fact that you're sitting down gives you just a little bit more control, I think. My inclination was to squeeze my knees together, similar to like my Suron or like a dirt bike or whatever, just so you have a little bit more control, but it's all hollow. <laughs> so maybe if the body was just a little bit more firm, but then it would be much heavier. And so that would be the trade-off there. So yeah, those are my initial first impressions. I got to play with the app. Uh, I think there's more things to unlock. So the nostalgia factor on this thing is really high. And that's why I see these things being really popular, especially for like car enthusiasts. So riding this around a city, you'll definitely turn heads. It's going to look a little bit weird. It's going to draw attention. If you don't mind that kind of attention, this is perfect for you this will definitely start a conversation the fact that honda released an electric vehicle with these like really really minor specs uh really low specs and it just blew up is an interesting test to see if they actually start you know building electric bikes electric motorcycles and this might just be the thing that they're taking their temperature on to see what you know what, what is the return on investment Okay, here's how you fold it back down. Put the kickstand down, push this up, put the foot pegs in, and then the other side. And we'll do the rear wheel, so we open it up and bring it close to the body, turn it up to unlock it. Then you lift this piece up and push the wheel in. And you wanna make sure it's locked by taking the latch and turning it back down, like so. And you just double check by pulling the wheel and make sure it's secure. Then we do the saddle. You push this button right at the stem over here. Unlatch the saddle. Bring this back down. You also want to pull this latch towards you so that the seat folds. And then you take the locking latch, you put it back up here and you just close it. And then you put it back inside of the body this way or this way doesn't really matter and then finally you fold down the bars so first you take this latch open it and you rotate it like that and then you close the latch again open this latch over here and then you want to push the stem down by opening this locking latch and here's the locking pin so you just have to pull that up so this thing goes down push it down then you close this latch so it stays in then finally you fold the whole handlebar assembly down so you hear a locking sound there you go then you put the kickstand up and now you're ready to go Integrated headlight and tail light with brake functionality ensure visibility, a must for any urban ride. The Moto Compacto keeps it simple with integrated foot pegs, a kickstand with a steel lock loop, and 8 inch wheels. The center mounted display offers phone app capability, a nod to modern tech in this otherwise retro inspired scooter. So, here's what we like the Honda Moto Compacto's design is a love letter to urban mobility, blending nostalgia with functionality. The white panels are perfect for those who love to customize their rides with decals or vinyl, and its ease of riding 
riding and maneuverability is a big plus, thanks to well-balanced parts and Honda engineering. But here's some things to consider. The folding process can be a bit of a puzzle, requiring some patience to master. With a price tag of over $1,000 and modest specs, it's a premium investment for what you get. Also, the small wheels and lack of rear suspension means riding over potholes or uneven terrain can be hazardous. Overall, the Honda Moto Compacto electric scooter is a fascinating blend of retro design and modern urban mobility. While its compact size and unique style make it an attractive option for city dwellers, the learning curve for folding, the low power specs, and suitability for all riders are factors to consider. So what's your take on the Honda Moto Compacto? Does its charm and portability outweigh its limitations for you? Or do you think it's a fun collectible? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.